In almost every Kiwi garden, you'll find some sort of hedge. When it comes to choosing one for your place, there are three main types to look at. Slow growing, tall or flowering. For your slow growing hedges, Buxus or English box are traditionally pretty formal, often seen edging paths and walkways. Karokias are easy to maintain if grown in well-drained soil and have lots of variety to choose from. And Caprosmas, also offering a wide range to choose from and as a bonus they have many native varieties. If you're after a bit more privacy, tall growing varieties are Pittosporum for an attractive but hardy option, the perfect windbreak or privacy screen or Portuguese laurel, which has vibrant green leaves in spring and grows well in most conditions. In warmer regions, look for native Gristolinias, which are hugely popular, or Eugenias for a faster growing option. In cooler areas, try planting beech, which turns from green in spring to golden in autumn, or holly for a deep green, easy to grow option. Lastly, for a flowering hedge, you can't go past camellias. With so many varieties to choose from, you're sure to find one you like. Or the Port Wine Magnolia with its fragrant cream and purple flowers in spring. For this spot here, I've chosen to plant some Karokia Gentes Green. It's a great hardy native, it's going to form a nice dense hedge. It's not going to get too big so it's going to work in really well as a border to the house. So let's get started. When you're planting your hedge, you do need quite a few plants to make sure that it does fill out. For these plants, spacing's about every 40 centimetres, but if you're unsure when you're choosing yours, just ask someone in store and they'll help you out. Awesome, happy with that. Let's get planting. You just wanna get this deep enough so that the pot sits about the right level. It's looking good. Our soil here looks pretty free draining. If it wasn't, now would be a good time to put in some clay breaker or gypsum. Another tip to keep in mind when you are digging near your house, there may be pipes and cables running under the ground, so take it easy when you are digging here. We're going to add some sheep pellets. And a good handful of garden mix will help give your plants a good boost. So our first plant here, it's got some nice growth going sideways. So we're just going to position that so that it grows sideways into the rest of our hedging plants. Instead of growing into the house, pop it out of his pot. It's not too root bound, but just a light teasing around the side. And then pop it in the hole and backfill with this soil. Just make sure to press down firmly. And then we'll just top that up with a bit more garden mix. Right, one last thing. I'm gonna add a cap of the seaweed tonic into our nine litres of water, and this will just help give it a good feed. And as always, when planting, you want to give them a decent drink at the same time. Then top them off with a layer of mulch to keep moisture in and weeds out. All types of hedges do need some regular pruning. If you've just planted a new hedge, leave it for around a year to establish, but once established, you're probably looking at every three or four months, giving it a good prune, chopping it back so that this helps to fill in. On a hedge of this size, electric shears are your best friend. You want to start at one end of the hedge and work your way along. Keep your trimmer level and aim for an even flow. Small hedges are easily dealt to with manual shears. Again, just try to keep them level and adjust by eye. Hedges always have a purpose, so think about what you're trying to achieve before selecting your variety. Shelter, privacy, fencing, screening or a decorative border. They're super versatile. Most hedges will do well in full sun to full shade. They also like a rich, free draining soil. Autumn's best for planting to let them get established before winter, but they should do well at any time. Water daily over summer in the first year as they're pretty thirsty and it can increase the speed of growth by three to four times. Water deeply and mulch to reduce competition from weeds. Look after your hedge by looking after the soil. Feed every six months to increase soil fertility. If you're worried about pests and disease, take a photo of the problem and come and see us in store and we'll help you out. Put the time into caring for your hedge in its first year and it'll be a key feature in your garden for many more to come. And it's easy as. Make sure you subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel for more great content or click here to watch more now.